This video provides an introduction to creating .NET applications using MATLAB Compiler SDK. MATLAB's application deployment products allow you to share code and algorithms developed in MATLAB with people who would otherwise not use MATLAB. These people may be colleagues, collaborators, or customers. Applications can be deployed to a variety of platforms, desktop applications, web, and enterprise systems, and use the MATLAB runtime to drive the calculations. The application deployment products provide a variety of options to help you share your applications. MATLAB Compiler lets you share MATLAB programs without integration programming. MATLAB Compiler SDK provides a flexible toolkit for software developers to integrate programs written in MATLAB with applications written in C or C++, Java, or .NET. And MATLAB Production Server provides the most efficient path for web and enterprise applications. In this example, we will use MATLAB Compiler SDK to create a simple application using Microsoft.NET. We will read in data capturing the gross domestic product, the GDP, for a variety of countries covering the years 1990 until today. We're going to read the data into MATLAB to analyze and visualize the data, package them using MATLAB Compiler SDK, and bring that assembly into Visual Studio to create an application that can run without MATLAB. Let's take a closer look at the MATLAB code that produces our 3D bar graph. This function reads data from a text file called gdpdata.txt. It excludes all the column headers and extracts the years and countries of interest, then calls MATLAB's bar3 command to create the 3D chart. Now that we've looked at the MATLAB code, let's learn how to package the code so that it can be integrated into a .NET application. We'll use the Library Compiler app selected from the Apps tab and then choose the type of component we want to build. In this case, it's a .NET assembly. We will then select the main file. For our example, it is gdpplot.m. The Library Compiler will automatically identify and include any MATLAB files required by the main file. Once that is done, we'll change the name of the class and the namespace of the component. In addition to the automatically selected MATLAB files, you can specify any other files that may be needed for your application, such as text files and MATLAB.mat files. At this point, we can click on the Package button to build the .NET assembly. Once the packaging is complete, we'll go into the output directory to view all the files we will use in Visual Studio. In this case, our main one is mlne.dll. Now let's go to Microsoft Visual Studio and open our project from where we will call the component just built within MATLAB. Let's open our C-sharp application to look at the underlying code. One of the first things you'll notice in the application is the namespace we just used in the DLL. Inside the main method of your application, you'll create an instance of the class GDP Tools. Once the instance is created, any MATLAB files that you added to your .NET assembly become methods of the class. In our case, gdpplot.m becomes a method under the GDP Tools object. In order for the application to run, we need to add a reference to the DLL we've just built. So let's right click on the References menu, add a reference, and select the component mlne.dll. Once you have a reference to the assembly, you can build the application and then go to debug mode to test your application. Once it's running, you will see that it is generating the same 3D bar plot that you saw previously in MATLAB, but now it's running from a .NET based application outside of MATLAB. Now that the application is finished building in Visual Studio, we can run the final application from our desktop and see the same results we saw all the way back in MATLAB. You can also interact with these figures just as you would have done in an interactive MATLAB session using commands such as pan, zoom, and rotate. Once you're finished, simply close the graphics windows to exit the application. 
For more information about MATLAB Compiler SDK and the other application deployment products, please visit our product pages on MathWorks.com.